And that whole time period holds a very special place in many people's hearts. Um, even as someone who didn't grow up watching the early 2000s of WWE, I appreciate those pay-per-views on another level as well because the content and the, the quality of some of these shows is just flat-out phenomenal. And that could absolutely be said for SummerSlam 2002. This is one of my hands-down favorite pay-per-views of all time. And again, I wasn't even a fan back then. That's how much I fucking love this show and Survivor Series 02 as well. That theme song sticks differently for me because... um. Always by Saliva is just a great fucking song, and it perfectly oh, yeah. fit the. Vo oh, I could listen to that song every day of the week. It's so good. Um, the odd thing is that SummerSlam, I would say, is as entertaining of a show, if not slightly better. Both shows are amazing, but with this show, I don't remember like, oh, what was the song that was used for? Apparently, there was no real song at all. It's a Jim Johnston song called "Fight," so it must have been some generic. Yeah. You know, um, whatever. I had yeah, never. I don't, mainly, I don't remember this uh, It was mainly used for the Shawn Michaels and Triple H match. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, for the video package, which is top, which is a top five video packages of all time. Easily, I, I, like, I might put it behind Rock and Austin from Mania Seventeen. Really? It, it wow. Just, oh, it's just amazing and the story <laughs> and the match and every oh i love SummerSlam slam 02 <laughs> best one i will put that i will put that summer slam up against any other one yeah i don't care i agree i know wwe is doing on twitter i saw this week they're doing a bracket of the greatest summer slams of all time i think it's like every summer slam but they just put it up in like bracket form and if 02 isn't yeah, yeah. either the yeah. winner or if it's not a runner-up that thing is fucking rigged because that show is just amazing. Oh, it's so good. Like, we'll talk about the show here for just a quick second. Like you said, that video package is awesome. The match itself delivered. I, I don't want to say it's underrated, but I feel like that feud, and specifically that first match they had on that show, does not get talked about enough. It's no Bulldog versus Bret Hart from 10 years earlier at SummerSlam 92, but it's still an absolutely amazing match that when you look at the broader picture of how that was Sean's first match back in almost five years, it's unbelievable. And it was just the perfect video package to accompany it. So I love that match. They got Brock versus Rock, Kurt and Ray. Um, just so many good matches on just one show. It's just amazing from start to finish. Oh my God, that show, that like everything, everything about that show is just, is just absolutely just, just, just amazing. <laughs> and uh, I mean, no, and, uh, no, and like you said, like, or I feel, I feel that the Sean and, or that the Sean and, and, uh, yeah. The Sean and the Triple H match does not get talked about very like like very much, yeah. and yeah. and like like it's just insane because Sean that he like in in the in ninety eight that man went out in the main event of Mania with a broken back, still pulled off a solid match against Austin. Mm -hmm. Went away, he came back, and he didn't miss a beat. Didn't miss a damn thing. Yeah, he was he was still the same performer he was just four years prior. Mm -hmm. And I just and uh, <laughs> I think my favorite moment of that entire show is after Sean beats him, and then Hunter hits him in the back with the hammer, and then Hunter's walking up the aisle, and he's got that uh, he's got that Cheshire Cat smile on his face. <laughs> Jr. is on commentary calling him a son of a bitch and mm -hmm. every other and, and every other four to five letter word in the <laughs> <laughs> word, word in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. It's just a it's it's just a great visual. Mm -hmm. it's, it's awesome. A, I gotta ask you this one thing too, and I've asked this to so many people when it comes to Triple H and Shawn Michaels from this show. And I again, I wasn't watching back then, so I don't quite understand it. But so the, the, it kind of kicked off when they had the DX reunion on Raw. And that was when Triple yep. H turned on Sean, went back to being a heel, blah, blah, blah. But then they filmed an angle, which is, again, a part of the video package, where Sean gets hit in the in the parking lot. And they pretend, I don't know if they pretend that it's not Triple H, but it's kind of a question of like, oh, who did it? Was it really like, what are your, what, what was going on there? Because clearly it had to have been, I mean, that was obviously Triple H, but why did they play it off like, oh, we don't know who it is, if literally this guy just um, beat the shit out of him a week before? 
From my recollection, uh, it was, I know, Sean, okay, so Sean was in the parking lot, yep. and he got ambushed, and, and like, he looked like a bloody heap. Yeah. Um, and, and I remember that Hunter was there, and Bischoff was also there, and Bischoff just kind of looks at him and was like, oh, that was you. Of course it was. And then Hunter just, and, uh, and then he just, and, uh, and he pretty much all but said like, no, it wasn't me. Mm-hmm. Um, but the way that they revealed it was, er, was uh, kind of neat because um, they did the whole like via satellite thing. Uh, where Sean is in a studio somewhere and Hunter and Bischoff are both in the ring. And Sean said like, Oh, you know, it's really great how far no, no, uh, or no, it's really great how far technology has come, mm-hmm. uh, which I, which I find it hilarious that he said that because it was 2002. And <laughs> I know. In 2020, yeah. where things have drastically improved. Since yeah, then. right. But, uh, so basically, what they did was that they zoomed in on the footage, but it was so pixelated when they zoomed in. But they were able to like clear it up. Yeah, and it was Hunter, and he has, and <laughs> and no, and of course, if at first sight you couldn't tell it was him, he was wearing his shirt with the big, like, cross thing on it. And it's like, okay, all right, yeah, it was him. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, like, I guess it was more so, like, it was, I mean, like, storyline-wise, it was more so to give Sean a reason to come back. Okay. Because, like, hey, this guy, this guy kind of tried to end your life a little bit by, like, by like shoving your face into a car window and shattering it. And then you lost a lot of blood. Like, yeah, yeah. I would want to come back too and kick and just beat the, beat the Holy hell. Yeah. Uh, uh, out of that guy. Yeah, no, definitely. It, it's just a great video package. I didn't know that was the same song they used for the entire pay-per-view. When I go back and watch that show, I don't think of the song. Um, I, I think some of the best songs are the ones that you remember the most. For me personally, oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a good song. for the, It's a great video package. I'm not denying that. It, it is absolutely up there. Completely agree with you. It's one of the greatest of all time. Don't remember the song too much. I would have to go back and listen to it. But I am planning on rewatching that show soon because it is so goddamn good. Um, but we go from... 18 years. Yeah, it's just amazing. 